Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the song called New BB Handle Chicken Yodeling by Takio Ishii. Okay, so the main theme is really catchy, we'll be teaching you that in this lesson. So check it out, give you a preview, it goes like this. Get right into it. So here we go. Let's learn it. Okay, it's not that difficult. It's pretty easy. There's like a pattern to it. So here we go. Let's break it up into parts to learn it. Okay, so we'll break it up into. Let me see. The four parts. Okay, so don't worry. One of the parts is actually uh, the same. So first part and the third part is the same. So here we go. So let's go. So first part starts on the E here, middle C here for reference. Go up an octave C. Start on the E right here. So three E's up to C sharp. A and repeat that five notes again. E E E up to C sharp A and then three E's up to D B and repeat that three E's again up to D B. Just like that. The first part is super simple. It's like patterns galore. Okay, so one more time. So it goes like this: three E's, C sharp E, three E's, C sharp A, and then three E's D B, three E's D B like that. Okay, pretty simple. So one is faster. That's it for the right hand for the first part. Once you get that right hand there, left hand, we have four chords. We're doing block chords first. At the end of the lesson, I'll tell you the pattern that you can do. But anyway, the four chords are A major, which is A, C sharp, E. So first two chords are both A major. And then the third and fourth chord are both E major, which is E, G sharp, B. So two of them. Okay? So with these four chords in mind, so two A majors followed by two E majors. The two hands together goes like this. Okay? Right hand starts first. Third E and A major together. Third E and A major together. And once again, together. Together. Yeah, so there's always a pattern. It's every group of third E out of the three E's is where you put the hands together. So like this. One more time. Together. 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 And that's the first part. Okay, after you get this first part, let's move on to the second part. Second part continues like this. Right hand continues, goes. E up to D, B, and then back down to E three times. Up to D, B, and then three E's. Up to C sharp, A, C sharp, A, C sharp, A. That's the part that goes buck, 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 buck. It's like imitating a chicken. Buck, 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 buck. That part, okay? But anyways, so let's do it again. So it goes E up to D, B, E, 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 e D, B, E, 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 e C sharp, A, C sharp, A, C sharp, A. And that's it for the right hand. Okay, that's the right hand. Once you get that left hand, we have three chords for this second part. The three chords are just E major twice, which is E, G sharp, B, so two of them. And then A major, which is A, C sharp, E. Okay, so with those three chords in mind, so two E majors and an A major, the two hands together goes like this. So E and E major together. 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 Like that. Okay, pretty simple. One more time. So together. Awesome stuff, okay? So, yeah, back to back, the two parts we've learned so far will be played like this. Check it out. So it goes. Awesome stuff, okay? And that's it, okay? The third part is exactly the same as the first part, as I said earlier in the lesson, so repeat. Then, uh, before we do that, let's just play the three parts we've learned so far back to back. So it goes like this. Like that. Okay, and then, now, the fourth part is really similar to the second part. So the first half is the same. So once again, it goes like this. After the B, it doesn't do that fast thing at the end, it just right hand just goes C sharp and then A and A major together. Like that. So it's really simple. So the fourth part is like a simplified version of the second part. So one more time. So the first half of this fourth part is the same as the first half of the second part, like this. Same. After the B, and then just C sharp and A and A major together. And that's it. So that's the fourth part. So a simplified version of the second part. 
So, yeah, without the buck, 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 that's why it's simplified, okay? So back to back, all four parts will be played like this, check it out. That's it. Okay, so now after you get the melody and chords right in terms of all the like notes and also all the rhythm, then you can start to apply that left hand pattern. Okay, so if you're a beginner, just get the melody and chords first because uh, it requires a little bit of hand independence. So by getting the chords uh, really uh, easily into place, it should be a lot easier to do this pattern. Okay, so for all of the chords, do this pattern. What you need to do is play the uh, okay for the chord right. You play the root note, followed by the high two notes, followed by the high note an octave below followed by back to the two notes again, like that. And do that for every single chord. Like that. Like that, okay? You can even do it higher with the E major. You can do that if you want. Doesn't really matter. Remember, E majors are all over the piano. It doesn't matter which one you do, okay? As long as you don't clash, okay? Anyway, yeah, two hands together with that pattern goes like this. second part, I like to actually pause on that chord like this, the, yeah, for that second part, it gives it kind of like that, same feeling as the song, where it's like pauses and does that buck, 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 buck part, okay, so it's up to you, it doesn't really matter what you want to do, and you can actually apply other patterns to it, as I always say, you can do whatever you want, yeah, that's the, I guess that's the uh, benefits of this method that I teach melody and chords. By mastering that, you can just add patterns like as if it's like formulas into it and yeah, be able to do whatever arrangement you want for a song. But anyway, if you want to learn how to do all this stuff, I teach all this in my piano courses. You can learn it from my piano courses on my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below. You not just learn that, you learn how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, play and sing, and a lot of other cool stuff, okay? But anyway, that's pretty much it. Check out the rest of my channel if you like these step-by-step -step tutorials. I have literally multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of other piano videos for you to enjoy and learn from so check it out and that's pretty much it hope you enjoyed this enjoy time around my channel and see you next time thanks for watching for those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear grab the free preview of my book or just visit my website bestpianomethod.com for all my other piano mastery courses sheet music song requests and services all the links are in the description below. See you next time.